All right, so why don't you try this bond rotation exercise? Start with this molecule and rotate carbon to 120 degrees along the C2 to C3 bond. So work on this by yourself. Press pause, and when you're ready, press play. All right, let's have a look at this one. So we're going to redraw this stereo center. What makes this a little trickier than the previous examples is the fact we've got an extra stereo center here. But you can actually make this problem a lot easier on yourself if you just simply ignore it. And by ignoring it, I don't mean that you blot it out of existence, but just call it R. Okay, you're just going to call it R because we're not actually rotating C, C3 here. We're just rotating C2. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the OH here and we're going to have a dash being an H and then we're going to have the CH3. And now if you imagine again sort of thinking back to our steering wheel analogy, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the CH3. Let's try doing it 120 degrees clockwise first. Okay, so let's redraw a few things. So R and then R is going to, the CH3 is going to it's going to move to where the OH is. So we're going to have a CH3 here. And then the OH goes to where the H is. So the OH is here. And then finally the H goes to where the CH3 is. So the H goes up here. So if we account for the fact that we've drawn a bunch of things as R, um, Let's just draw in our CH3 here, and then we've got our OH, and then we've got our other OH. This is going to be a dash, and then our H's. This is going to be a dash, and this is also going to be a straight line. Okay, so that is what we get when we rotate it 120 degrees clockwise. Okay. So let's try the same thing, except we're going to rotate it 120 degrees counterclockwise. All right. So let's again use the same strategy. We're going to just call that R. And so we're going to draw that as OH, and that is H, and that is CH3. Now 120 degrees. Again, sort of draw in the the rough outline of our steering wheel. If you find that that helps, I find that it, it, it can help a little bit here. So I'm going to rotate this 120 degrees counterclockwise. So that means that we have R. Now that CH3 is going to be where the H was. So that CH3 is going to become a dash. And the H is going to go where the OH was. So the H is going to become a wedge. And the OH is going to go where the CH3 is. So that means that the OH is going to become a straight line like that. All right. So we can redraw everything and in, in, in properly and keep our stereo center at the same time. So we can draw our CH3 in as a dash. And then uh, we need to draw in the rest of everything here. So this stays the same. That back. OH is still a wedge. So that's why I said you can just call this R, right? Because it's not going to change. And now we have our OH, which is a straight line. And we'll draw in our H's here. So that H become, goes there, and that H becomes a wedge. So that is what we get when we rotate it 120 degrees counterclockwise.